On the 28th of May, the shit company sent me Five broken switches, false marketing, cheap brittle plastics, and a price tag that gave me HIV. The intro might have sounded cheery, but I can assure you, I'm not happy, Bob. So since I've grown quite uh, tired of my Azeron keypad, I'm going to do my best to make this video short. This is more so going to be a bitchy rant instead of an honest review because I, I don't even really know if I can just review this without being somewhat biased. Because not only am I out $225.30, I've also been lied to just like every other person who's bought an Azeron keypad. I have an announcement before we talk about my immeasurable disappointment though, and it's that I finally have a Discord. It's called Kuda's Hangout. You guys can come in there, chill, talk about products. Uh, you guys can get updates on my upload schedule, call me names, whatnot. It'll be linked down below as well as in the channel banner if you're interested. I know a lot of you've asked for it, so here you go. Next stop is merch, but I have to, I'm gonna do the merch myself, all the designs, that's gonna take some time. Of which I don't wanna waste any more of it. So let's do this. So during this video, I'd like you to keep in mind that the experience you're about to hear, I, again, paid $225 for. And I even had to pay for my own shipping. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought my Azeron Compact about nine or 10 months ago, just before the release of their newer Azeron Cyborg. The Cyborg, Compact, and Classic all share very similar characteristics, but they're all different in their own ways. But this isn't a full fucking review, I don't really give a shit. For those who don't know though, I will quickly summarize the concept behind the Azeron keypads, just so we're all caught up. The Azeron keypad is meant to replace your keyboard, specifically for gaming and other tasks like editing videos in my case. Its design makes it so you don't have to use buttons like WASD, which are highly inefficient to move around. Instead, you have an Xbox 360 thumbstick, you have the accuracy of mouse aiming, and you also have the ability to map any of your binds to all of the buttons on the keypad. It has 14 clicky buttons, as well as four buttons that are mushier than shit on the top of the towers. You also have this directional stick next to the thumbstick. Why is that there? All of this is customizable in Azeron's software, which is pretty decent, I'm not going to lie, it actually is pretty nice. And the customization for the Azerons on their website is pretty nice as well. This is where my compliments end. The concept for the Azerons is absolutely amazing. Keyboards were made for fucking typing documents. This was created specifically for gaming in mind, and the concept behind it is amazing. I actually do heavily enjoy keypads over keyboards most of the time. However, you have to do it right. And unlike manufacturers who make keyboards like Razer, they don't necessarily, what's it called? Blatantly lie to their customers. That's a lie. That's a lie. I think Razer hat. No, no. Yeah, definitely. Definitely has lied to quite a few people before. Unrivaled ergonomics ensure excellent comfort while playing your favorite PC and console games. Merge best things from... Who the fuck wrote this? Merge best things from different gaming worlds, analog stick 360 movement from consoles, and 24 programmable keys with 10 million clicks lifespan from the keyboard. This statement is a straight fucking lie, at least I'm 95% sure of it. All Azeron keypads advertise a 10 million click lifespan for the micro switches used. I've dismantled two different towers from the Azeron keypad, one which came with my keypad and one which was sent to me for replacement from Azeron both of which use D2F01 Omron switches, which are not rated for 10 million clicks, but one million clicks. One fucking million clicks. I want you all to keep in mind, I have done hours upon hours upon hours of research to ensure that I'm wrong in some way. I wanted to be wrong. And in fact, I might still be. I might have just not found these switches. So because I have an anxiety about being wrong, I always uh, do my research again while editing my videos as I'm getting the video finished. And I actually did find a uh, listing on this for Grey Top D2F01 Amaran switches like the ones on the Azeron. Now, Grey Tops should correlate to 10 million click lifespans, right? At least according to this key right here. Well, here's the funny problem with all this is that even though these are the same switches, or at least they appear to be, Azeron themselves literally says that they're only rated for 1 million clicks. Here are those screenshots. A viewer by the name of Wicked Motorsports hit up Azeron on Facebook Messenger and guess what they said? I'll let you read that for a second. Kind of fucking stupid, isn't it? So I myself actually reached out to Azeron to confirm this, and yes, the switches are rated for at least 1 million clicks. But you want to know what the fucking most hilarious part about this is? The day after, the day after I hit them up and telling them I'm making a video, the very next fucking day, if we go over to Azeron's website, 
it's no longer here. But when Wicked Motorsports hit you guys up, uh, what, like a week or two ago at this point? It still wasn't changed until I said something. I don't know how Azeron supports aware of this, but on the website it still states a 10 million click lifespan. How the hell do they know about this, but the advertising that's there, literally on the website, says something that's completely different? You'd have to be as blind as fucking Helen Keller to not see that shit. So either you know that it's not real, and you're lying to your customers intentionally to make them think your product's more reliable than it actually is, or you just don't care. Either way, it's a bad look. I would know firsthand how bad these switches are, because I have gone through five of them. So I kind of wanted to get the actual factual false marketing shit out of the way first, as well as uh, Azeron's somehow being aware of this but not doing anything about it. Before I talked about my own personal experience, customer support's been great, buying it was great. It was, you know, it's all been a very nice experience. Aside from the fact that five of my switches have started double clicking. The first one happened three months after I bought the keypad. Why is the, you piece of shit, why does this still turn off? And you know what? It wasn't actually that bad. The first time my switch went out, it, was, it wasn't that big of a deal. Azeron was like, we can send you new parts and you can install them yourself, or we can, uh, we can have you send it back in and we'll, we'll repair it for you. And I was like, perfect, just send me the parts. The Azeron, I will give them this. This is uh, uh, something I'm a very big fan of, and it's right to repair. This is something that companies like Apple have taken very uh, steep measures towards. Like they'll add serial numbers to their cameras so it's actually tied to that phone. So even if you get an identical camera from an actual iPhone 12, it won't match your iPhone 12 and it won't work. You have to go to Apple to get it repaired. That scummy shit. Azeron makes the device very easy to repair intentionally so you can do the shit yourself. It's probably to ensure that their shitty little keypad that they know isn't that reliable can be repaired without them being overloaded with them. Also, if you think they didn't know that this product is going to be unreliable, they added a feature to help with double clicking switches in the software and spoiler alert, it doesn't really work that well. Anyways, back on topic. Again, about two, three months later, the same switch started double clicking. And now, not only is that switch still double clicking to this day, Four other switches are double clicking. Wait, no, three. For a total of five. Five double clicking switches. The switch that's next to my thumb, there's one on my index finger, one on my pinky finger, and the exact same one on my ring finger that I use for space. The exact same one that went out the first time, for which Azeron again sent me a tower that I could replace. At this point in time, if I wanted to repair my Azeron, I would literally need to have them send me half of the fucking keypad. You wanna know what's worse? Oh god, this story never ends. The buttons on top of the towers suck ass, and they always have. They're these mushy, terrible buttons, and you already have a, a small amount of buttons to begin with, so you need every last button you can use. And these ones suck so bad, dude. The two that I mainly use, my middle finger and my index finger, yeah, those two are very inconsistent nowadays, and I knew they would be. For a product that's as expensive as Scuff's newest Xbox controller, this thing sure as hell is built like a TikTok. Cheap, with absolutely no effort put into it. And if there was effort put into it, I'm sorry to say it, but it wasn't enough. The plastics feel cheap as hell. I know they're 3D printed, but they still feel cheap as hell. You guys made me pay for my own shipping on a device that base price costs like $200. The switches suck ass, and I don't know why you haven't upgraded them. Now, you guys know me. I don't generally base my reviews off of my own experience alone. There are other people who've had issues with the Azeron, including the newest Azeron, the Cyborg, but there haven't been that many. And my theory is, is because there are not many Azeron users. The community is not that big. Hell, their Instagram doesn't even have as many followers as Battle Beaver Customs. So I'm just assuming there isn't a large enough sample size for me to actually see whether or not these devices work well or look like shit. My guess is that most of them work fine most of the time. Most people probably aren't having the issues I have. But for me to have had the issues that I've had, this isn't an acceptable experience. And for me to do the research that I've done and find that every single website that mentions the switches you guys use are rated for 10 times less than what you're advertising, it kind of pisses me off. I'm sorry I look like shit. I didn't really have time to get ready before I recorded this new outro. The old one doesn't really make much sense, so I gotta do it again. This is being recorded about a month after the initial recording of the video. But, um, I I'd like to be honest with you guys. For the past seven or eight months, I've been very, very uh, down, very depressed, but that's kind of why my upload schedule has been so dog shit, and my uploads have had so much space in between them between one or two weeks on average, which is insane for my channel. But in this one instance, it's actually helped me out. I got time to re-research the switches and find out that there actually are 10 million click D2F01 switches out there, at least there appears to be. And I also got to hit up Azeron and figure out they're a completely degenerate company. I emailed them myself like I showed you earlier in the video, 
video and they immediately changed what was on the website. Even though Wicked Motorsports, who had hit them up and said nothing about making a video, like I did, they didn't even touch what was on the website. That was up until I contacted them and said I was making a video. So to conclude this video and to wrap up the Azeron saga, which has been going on for me for about a year, this product fucking sucks. They're completely disingenuous and their product is made out of the cheapest fucking materials I have ever laid my hands on. The plastics feel like utter garbage and the switches are rated for a hundred million times less than that of the Razer Huntsman and Huntsman V2 switches. You can go to Razer and pay just as much for one of their keyboards as this keypad and get something that is literally a hundred times more reliable. It's funny too because the the one single controller part, there's a controller part on this keypad and that's the one part that didn't give me any issues what a fucking backwards timeline i must have accidentally fallen asleep and slipped into another universe where black holes are inside out microsoft is a good company and controller parts last longer than mouse and keyboard parts i think i'm gonna end that there though there isn't really much else i can say i wouldn't trust azeron with any of my money especially the amount they ask you for this piece of shit and Guess what? I'm very upset. They make me pay for shipping. They charge me $200 for this piece of shit piece of plastic, and they still make me pay for my own fucking shipping. Fuck you guys. Congratulations, Azeron. You single-handedly now have the most unrecommendable product that I have ever reviewed on this channel. At this point, I don't even know what to say. Microsoft is a shit company who makes shit products. But when they advertise that the Elite Series 2 is the world's most advanced controller, even though it's laughable because the world's most advanced controller directly correlates to the world's most unreliable controller, what they're saying isn't straight up a lie. What you guys said was straight up a lie and you only changed it because someone with influence scared you. But yeah, again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end it there before I get more upset. Members, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I don't know how you keep supporting me even though I only upload like once a month at this point. Hopefully I can change that. I'm going to try. I genuinely do mean that this time too. Next stop, comparing more controllers. Holy shit. At least when I go back to controllers, I know what I'm in for. Jesus fucking Christ.